Welcome to episode two of how to build an actually useful space station. Today, we're adding a science and observation module to the station. Let's jump right in. I'm starting with a probe core and then adding an adapter to connect the science modules. I decide to add two and then also add a cupola pod at the top. For better control of this module, I also add some SAS and some RCS to make sure we can dock. I then add some batteries, solar panels, and some colored lights to make it look nice. And now the science module is all ready. We can now place the payload in a large fairing, making sure to add a probe core to the upper stage so we can deorbit it. I also add some RCS to the upper stage since the payload is so large, and it will also help with the deorbit process. Because our upper stage is so efficient, we only need a fairly small launcher stage. I decide to add a large 3.5 meter tank and the mammoth engine. And just like that, we're ready to launch. Now, before we can launch, we need to wait until we pass under the orbit of the station to match its plane. If you're not sure what this means, check out my video on how to rendezvous with any target in an arbitrary orbit, which explains it in more detail. We can then proceed with standard rendezvous procedures. When we arrive, we can ditch the upper stage, making sure to deorbit it. I then perform our first EVA operation, getting an engineer to place an antenna on the outside of the habitation module, which I forgot to add last time. And that concludes today's mission. Stay tuned to see what module we add next.